I'm Jillian Fortner, and welcome to Inside City Sports, an interview show produced by the students of San Diego City College. Each week, we are talking to the newsmaker of the campus. Inside City Sports highlights the movers and shakers of San Diego City athletics. Today, we are going to be talking to Kaylee Norvell, a sophomore at San Diego City College and setter for the Knights volleyball team. So, Callie, we are halfway through the fall volleyball season here at San Diego City College. Tell us about how the season has gone so far for the team and who has really stood out. Season so far has gone great. Um, we've had some ups and downs like any team would have. Um, we've just come out of a little bit of a dip in our season, but we are fighting our way back up. Um, standout players, our libero is fantastic, our opposite setter. Um, Alyssa is really great too. We have some great outsides. Um, we just have a great team all around. I It's hard to pick out a few standouts because there are so many amazing players. <laughs> yeah. So one look at the roster and we can see that you are the only sophomore on a team full of freshmen. And that's probably has to come with a lot of responsibility. So I was wondering, what has that been like for you? Being the only sophomore, it's kind of like just being a big sister to all the other girls. Um, I am able to help them adjust to the different coaching methods. Um, I'm able to help them adjust to the program, how we run it, how we um, do different drills, um, just being just being there for them as that more experienced player. And it's not something that I've done before, but it's been really fulfilling and I've really enjoyed it. Oh, I love that. So I know you previously told Inside City that you are the Knights utility player, which means that you're capable of performing many positions on the team. But why was setting your favorite position? When I first started playing volleyball, they ended up putting me in the setting position. And as I've gone through my volleyball career, I just continued to be setter. Sometimes I'd be put as a um, defensive specialist or libero, but I would always come back to setting and just being that the quarterback of the team and the one that helps make all the plays and just being the backup for our hitters and having the, the defense basically be able to trust me to run the offense was something that I always really enjoyed doing. And so going into college and being able to continue playing that position has been really, really fantastic. <laughs> so there are currently two captains on the Knights volleyball team. It's you and Ashley Davies. And with two leaders, a team can benefit a lot from these different perspectives, but what makes this work and what maybe makes that challenging? We both have different roles that we play on the team. Ashley is able to be um, more outspoken. I tend to be a little bit more quiet. Um, so I'm like the strong support behind the team and she's able to lead the team um, with a stronger outside voice than I sometimes do. Um, she's also the court captain. So whenever we're on the court, she is the one that is able to talk to the refs. Um, and I am the court captain. So I lead the calls. I'm able to help um, direct the girls on the court. And then we both go up for the coin toss. So it's it's nice having the co-captain because we can both rely on each other. I wouldn't say we've had any struggles with that so far because we both depend on each other. So having a co-captain, I would say, is more, more of an advantage than a disadvantage. Oh yeah, that's really great. But uh, we're gonna take a short break, Callie. But don't go anywhere yet, because when we come back, we're going to be talking to Callie about what brought her to City. Stay tuned. Yo, Scott. Hey. I'm heading out, man. You want to ride? No, I got my car, but I actually really need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I was just in there. The line is like 10 people long. You know, I think I'll just... <laughs> Dude, are you okay? You wouldn't believe what I was just thinking. I, I am definitely buzzed. Yeah. I think I will take this and I will take that ride home. Smart man. Did you see how that dog was looking at me? Here is my handle and here is my spell. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Tip. 
me over and pour me out. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Cheers. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome back to Inside City Sports. So we just heard about Callie Norville's career at San Diego City College volleyball player. Now we are going to be getting a more in-depth look about our player and what the future holds for her. So my next question is, so I know you went to high school at Maranatha Christian in North County and you could have played for any of the four other community colleges that are closer to home. So I was wondering what made you decide to play for the City Knights? Well, originally I wasn't planning on playing in college. Um, I was planning to go to a community college and then last minute I decided to reach out to the other community colleges and see if any of them would be, if any of them had a spot open for me to play on their teams. Um, and of the ones that reached back to me, uh, I really I really felt that City was the right place for me. I thought that the coaching was great. I The team dynamic was amazing. Um, facilities was great. I just, everything about my decision to come to City felt like the right choice. So I wouldn't say that there was a specific reason. There were a whole bunch of reasons that I chose to come to City to play for the Knights. Yeah. And I know your high school, you graduated from a really small school, just 950 total students. So before moving on to San Diego Community College District, so what was it like adjusting to a much larger school? I wouldn't say the adjustment was that different. Um, having a small school means that there you know more people, but you still are able to form relationships. Like I formed um, the closest relationships at that school with my team. And that's the same thing that has happened in my college life for volleyball is my closest relationships have always been my teammates. And having that connection with them has been um, a nice in <laughs> to have those close connections. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I know along with volleyball, you still attend college classes and you work part-time at your old high school. So how do you manage to divide your time with all your different activities? It's it's a little bit of a struggle. Um, for long van rides, most of the girls see me doing homework. Um, I uh, homework in the van rides to go to away games. And um, I also, I, I just spent every second I'm awake doing school, really. <laughs> oh, I, I don't have any other any other secret other than that. It's just I, I keep going and I get done what I have to get done. <laughs> I think a lot of us can relate to that. And I know you're studying <laughs> biochemistry here at San Diego City College. What are your future goals in terms of your career and your education? From here, I plan on transferring to a four-year. Currently, I'm planning on transferring to SDSU. Um, I've always really liked the idea of working in a lab. Um, my I've grown up with um, scientists who have influenced my life and have grown a love of science into my heart. Um, so going that path always seemed like what I wanted to do in life. So just continuing that education, continuing to go through, I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I, I do know that going in this direction is really will be make my future life enjoyable. Oh, I definitely wish you luck on that. So given Thank your you. volleyball career here at City College and how much it meant to you, do you envision yourself in the future continuing to play uh, as at any capacity? I would love to play on. Um, I plan since I plan on transferring to a D1, the possibility of me playing while there is not for sure. So I would definitely love to play on because volleyball is one of my big loves in life. Um, so if not collegially, I would definitely love to play recreationally in their club um, in whatever capacity that I can. So I 
So uh, one other question I have for you, uh, I would say looking back at this roller coaster of the last couple of years, what would you say is your fondest memory from your time here at City? Just the connections that I've made with all of the my teammates, all of the girls that um, I've played with has been so character building and the different life skills and life values that my coaches have taught me. Um, my time management has improved <laughs> by leaps and bounds. Um, and just being able to improve as a person through volleyball has been fantastic. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's been so nice learning about your whole volleyball career and all your school. And yeah, so we're going to have to wrap up this show. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Inside City. And thank you so much, Callie. For coming on the of show course. that's all we have Thank for tonight you. and you can tune into our show each wednesday on itv and watch us anytime on youtube and find it all on sdcitytimes.com and remember to follow sdcitytimes on twitter youtube and instagram thank you and good night